You bet your biscuits this place is open. Biscuit Belly is a new restaurant right here in Lexington, and needless to say, they're rolling in the dough. This throwback is making a comeback. Behind me is the iconic Kentucky Theater, and it's finally reopening after being closed for 15 months during the pandemic. It comes just in time to celebrate its 100 year anniversary. A murder mystery is about to take the stage right here at Woodford Theater. They're performing The Mouse Trap, and it's their first show back in 2022, and you're invited. The Agatha Christie classic, The Mouse Trap, is the longest running play in history, running continuously for over 60 years. Tim Hull, director of the Woodford Theater, says that bringing the play to the theater has been years in the making. Our executive director, Alex Maddox, selected The Mouse Trap, and he had seen it in high school and loved it and had wanted to bring it to Woodford Theater at some point. And the crowd seems to love it. We've gotten great feedback. Uh, the show is going very, very well. And I had a feeling it would. Um, I loved it. And the rest of the people that have been working on it and seeing it have loved it. One of those people is cast member Gene Cooper, who plays Christopher Wren in the production. And he feels like he truly embodies the character. He's very wild, energetic, flashy, fun, but at the same time, he's hiding quite a bit of depth underneath all that energy that he puts out on stage. With COVID still lingering, protocols are still being enforced. Mm -hmm. But Gene believes people want to get out and enjoy the show. We just want to have fun and let go of reality and just not hear about COVID for a while. Collegiate record holder Abby Steiner has been blowing away the competition this season. As she prepares for the SEC championships, she's taking it day by day. Really the main focus for this year was just to stay healthy and have fun. And breaking records, Steiner holds two collegiate records this season. Her performance has made her a contender for the Bowerman Award, which is given to the most outstanding male and female NCAA track and field athletes in the nation. She thinks her chances are... Hopefully pretty good. We're just going to keep progressing and seeing how these championship meets go. Those are the really important ones. So SECs and NCAAs are the really important ones to perform at. So just kind of taking it one race at a time and um, looking for the results there and seeing what happens. Her drive has impressed head coach Lonnie Green, and he commends her for it. <laughs> Abby, first of all, in my humble opinion, is gifted. The beautiful thing about Abby, she's disciplined. You know, when you work the gift, success follows the gift, if you work it. UK Track and Field tweeted, Abby Steiner's name will always be etched in collegiate track and field history. And that hasn't set in for her yet. Yeah, I feel like it's something that won't really sink in until I'm like done with the sport. It's, it's kind of crazy to look and see all of the names that you're surrounded with and what they've gone on to accomplish. So um, yeah, it's kind of one of those things where, you know, you celebrate it for a little bit, but there's always something next in collegiate track and field. So I think, you know, sometime after season, I'll be able to sit back and reflect on all of those good things. But yeah, now it's just on to SECs. I am so excited to be here at Chicken and Spice. It has been a childhood staple of mine. Hi! Let's go. We gotta, we gotta get a little bigger. <laughs> Try again. All right, I have a good feeling about this. Perfect. Perfect! I should have started with this. This is so good. So I might need some help eating the rest of this, but I don't think I wanna share. Same menu, same great taste at a brand new location, Orland Hills. It was so fun taking a trip down memory lane and experiencing the food and flavors at Chicken and Spice. Be sure to bring your family and create some memories. I am so excited to be here at the Eyes to the Skies Hot Air Balloon Festival in Lyle, Illinois. They have food, drinks, a carnival, and of course the hot air balloons. I cannot wait. One local Airbnb is giving back to other Airbnb hosts in Ukraine. Now, I don't know about you, Elle, but I do love me a good lemonade Girl Scout cookie. Those were my favorite growing up. Honestly, those are my favorites too, but I will say that the Samoas, they take the cake. For the month of March, it is Women's History Month. It's designed to celebrate and recognize the contributions made by women in American history. Switching gears to baseball, their chili home opener is today against Bellarmine at Kentucky Proud Park. Time to shine light on some furry four-legged friends. 
National Puppy Day made its debut in 2006, founded by pet lifestyle expert Colleen Page. This day helps bring awareness to the fact that a lot of dogs are in need of a home. There are nearly 10,000 foster kids in Kentucky, and finding resources during the pandemic has been a challenge, but UK Social Work has a solution.